Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. Today I have some cross stitch kits to share with you that were kindly sent to me from VIP Cross Stitch. So let's check out what I got. Now these two are obviously Joy Sunday, so I'll pop these aside and we'll check out this one first. So this one is actually the biggest in count I've ever received in the sense that it is a nine count canvas. Now this one is uh, no brand because um, it comes through with uh, no identifying brand on it so I just call it a no brand one and as I said it's a nine count so there is quite a lot of thread in there which we will have a look at in a moment and we'll look at the pattern and the canvas as well. What I did receive in this is a gorgeous little tool kit that comes with a finger protector, your thread threader, <laughs> thread threader, I like that, your needle threader and a bunch of needles in a gorgeous little pom-pom. Uh, now when I say a bunch of needles I think it looks like there's four in there. I can feel it through they're not pricking me through the plastic at all so they're all relatively blunt which is exactly what you need when you've got big hold fabric and they come in a cute little bag so that's a nice little extra to get with this uh, no brand brand you get your information sheet the interesting thing is it only goes down to 11 count so it tells you 11 count is 3 and 14 count is 2 now 9 count is from what I understand a very very new size that they're offering in these pre-stamped kits so none of the information sheets that I could see have any detail on them for how many threads you need for a nine count canvas. I've even done a quick google search before I started filming uh, to see if I can find information on what it suggests and I can't the the information only goes down to an 11 count now if 11 count is three I'm going to assume a nine count would use something like four so this is the chart you get with it and it is nice and big and it's on the squeaky shiny paper so you can't tear it easily this is a decent size and it's really quite clearly printed and easy to read so that's a bonus um, as you might be able to see there that the canvas is a 50 by 50 centimeter it's 155 stitches by 155 stitches it's all full stitch so you don't have to worry about any weird or fancy stitches and there's 28 colors in total now you probably can't work out what this is by this image so I will pop a picture up here of what the actual canvas is and it is a mushroom house and that's what it will look like when it's finished now what um, I've noticed with the actual picture it does all of this background here on the chart is all to be stitched in one color which is color 12 um, which we'll have a look when we look at the floss but I dare say it is this pink color here being that there's a, a lot of it in there when I get around to doing this one which uh, I'll probably push this up to start very soon being it's a new uh, size count for me and I want to see how it goes I'll probably do the background either I won't bother or I'll do it with as just half stitches rather than full stitches because it is just adding a background colour and it won't matter. Um, I'm doing that with another cross stitch I'm currently working on where it's cross stitching white thread on a white canvas so I'm just doing it as the background is all half stitch. That is the chart and as I say it is really clearly printed. There's not a problem at all. You can distinctly see each 10 rows that make up one of those big squares and each symbol is really well printed. So let's have a look at the actual canvas. Okay, so that's about as best I'm going to be able to get it in on this uh, shot the way my desk is set up. But it is, as you can see, quite big because it's a 50 by 50 and it's nine count and it is a very stiff fabric 
and it looks like it is printed really well. Um, every symbol looks very clear on it. Again, you can't really tell what the image is just looking at the canvas like this. You can sort of get a bit of a better idea that it's a, a house of some variety. But yeah, as you can see, this all of this part here needs to be stitched in if you want to do the background colour. Or you could, like, you can do it half stitch or leave it off. I, I, again, I don't know yet. It'll probably be the last part of the canvas I actually do, so I can decide if I want to do it or not. But if I bring you down closer, you can see what I mean about how well it is printed on the fabric. There's not a problem at all. You should be able to follow this quite easily. And again, you've got such a great chart here that it, if you are getting confused with something or, you know, if you've spilt some water on your fingers and have rubbed off the ink, you'll still be able to follow what's going on with the chart. So it should be interesting to do, being that it is such big squares. And, uh, well, there you go. You can see my finger in comparison. So they're big holes. You shouldn't have a problem seeing them. So I think I'll definitely have to start this one within the next month or two. And just, I'm going to be having a big whip pile before I know it. But it's something I want to start just to see how I like it. Nice, gorgeous baby pink here. And this is definitely the background colour without a doubt being that there's so much of it and I'm guesstimating four strands uh, per needle because it I can't, as I say I can't find it anywhere else where it says how many you should use and there is a lot of <laughs> floss here that you can see me trying to scramble to get it all together here we go let's have a look so we've got here we've got colors 1 to 18. Oh, I can get it all organized. I'll be there in a moment. Here they are. So there's colors 1 to 18 and they look gorgeous. That one's a really pretty bright one as well. And no, my favorite color's not here. It gets close, but not quite. <laughs> And here are the other colours, so 19 to colour 28. And they're all full stitch again, so fairly simple and straightforward to do. But that's the first one, so I'll pop this one aside and we'll check out the two from Joy Sunday. Okay, so here's the first of the two from Joy Sunday. This one is a coffee cart. It's 14 count and 30 by 20 centimetres. And I just had to get this one when I saw it because I love coffee. There's the canvas. There's the floss. And here's the chart. So, um, as always, a great looking chart. Just notice there that they're starting to offer nine count as well. Enjoy Sunday. So it must be something that's definitely going to be seen more often. Now, this one has some French knots. Uh, back stitch, half stitch and full stitch and looking at it there's 35 colours in total so your French knots are going to be on your flowers here back stitch is obviously the detail to outline all of your different elements in the coffee cart half stitch might be some of the shading around in the background so if, you know, apart from the French knots a fairly easy canvas here is the canvas and it as I say is only a 30 by 20 and it's a partial so 123 stitches by 85 stitches and it does look like there's uh, it's quite busy there's a few color changes in there which uh, will give it some really nice detail well as you can see on this image here so it's going to look like it's really cool and yeah the half stitch is just like to do the shading around the tires and the flower pots and the signage there so it's a really adorable looking image and it's going to look really cute now 35 colors i believe i said so here are colors 31 to 35 colors 1 to 15 seems to cover all the rainbow here beautiful colors and colors 16 to 30 so yeah definitely all the colors of the rainbow touched on here 
And Scarlet really cool when it's finished. And definitely 35 colours for such a sized canvas is really great. It's going to give a lot of good detail because as you can see, you're changing the colour often enough to give it shade and depth. So yeah, really happy with this one. And let's look at the third one. And the third and final canvas is another one of these gorgeous little geese ones. It's another 14 count and it's 17 by 21 centimetres. And it's the two geese in Paris. Now I got this one as well because the um, there's two places. The other one I'd shown previously is the two geese in Japan. So it's two places that Terry and I have been on holiday together so yeah that's why I got it because obviously Terry and I are the geese <laughs> in this one there is the image there so cute and your awesome chart and it's got full stitch and half stitch a French knot and back stitch so it's got four different varieties of stitches and 25 colors in total and whoo it's got my favorite <laughs> so, so yay this kit is has to be the favorite of the day obviously without a doubt <laughs> and there is the canvas so tiny and like you only really have to worry like I mean this stitching there but this is where the most of the stitching is so I'm going to bring you down so we can look at it a bit closer but yeah it's definitely a partial because there's a lot that doesn't have to be stitched on this one but, you know it changes color and, and as I say 25 colors so there's a lot of color in such a small canvas which is always awesome because it gives you that um, extra depth so yeah really cute let's have a look at the thread or the floss um, there's colors 16 to 25 they're always really cool nice bright colors included in these as well and there's colors 1 to 15. So really cute colors as always. Nicely detailed as always. And that's going to look awesome when it's done. Okay, so here they all are. The three awesome kits I was kindly sent from VIP Cross Stitch. So a really big thank you to VIP Cross Stitch for these kits. Uh, they are all really good. Really happy with them. Um, the no brand ones are actually also quite decent kits. You do get decent charts with them. You get the information and a little extra toolkit with them as well so I mean I, I have no issue with the no brand kits so I think they're all going to look great when they're done this one um, I will have to start on very soon because yeah I need to do some experimentation just to see what works well with nine count Thank you everybody for watching. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, please consider liking and subscribing and also hitting that notification bell. That keeps our YouTube overlords happy. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. Also, August's freebie image has gone up on Patreon, so another great reason to consider joining. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of these kits. Do you have a favourite? Is something like Nine Count something you are going to be interested in uh, going forward? But that will do it for this video. So everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.